Jai Gurudev. Today, again we will look at two lines of Hanuman Chalisa. The first line says, Lai Sajivan Lakhan Jiyaye Shri Raghuveer Harashi Urlai the second line says, Raghupati kin hi bohut badai, tum mama priya bharat sam bhai. Lai sajeevan lakhan ji ai. You brought the sanjeevani booty and made it possible for Lakshman, lakhan, means Lakshman, to live. It so happened that Meghdut Indrajit, the Meghraj, not Meghdut, Meghraj, the one who won over Indra, Meghraj Indrajit, the son of Ravan, who was equivalently, who was equivalently powerful to Ravan, he shot a missile called the Nag Mazai and Lakshman took the hit of it and he went into coma. He almost died. And then there was a doctor called, Ayurvedic doctor called Ved, was called from Lanka and the Ved was asked to treat Lakshman the vet said that there is no way that a person can come to life after getting hit by the Nagpash missile. So there is only one way and which is not possible by the time he will die. And Ram said, you tell us what is the way out. He said that in India at a certain place, there is a mountain and on that mountain there is a herb called Mrit Sanjeevani. Now Sanjeevani herbs are of many kinds. So there is a herb called the Mrit Sanjeevani. And this Mrit Sanjeevani herb is very powerful. Very, you know, fantastic. You get it, and if we are able to give him this Sanjeevani herb juice, he will survive. But it's impossible going to India, getting it. It will take too many days, and it's not possible. So Rama said, we can make it possible. I can just send Hanwanji, and Hanwanji can get it immediately. So while Hanmanji was going, very few people know the story that Bharat saw that there is some being flying in the sky. It can be a demon, it can be something dangerous who is crossing Ayodhya. So he shot Hanmanji and Hanmanji got a hit by his arrow on, on his left leg and Hanmanji fell down. When Hanmanji fell down, he told Bharat that I am a servant of Lord Rama and I am going to get the Sanjeevani booty. And Bharat made him go. He did the dressing and all. And he made his army and all ready that if we get orders from Rama, we will have to go to Lanka to fight a war. Because the most powerful kingdoms at that time were only three. One is the Ravan, second is Janak and third is Dashra, Ayutthaya. So Bharat was at that time taking care of the kingdom of Ayodhya. So he said, uh, we will have to keep, be prepared to fight. So he and his army, they got together and they were ready. By the time Hanmanji went on that mountain which was set, and on that mountain, something miraculous happened that all the herbs started shining. The, the Ved, the 
doctor had told Hanumanji that you have to get me a herb which is very simple. The herb which is shining is Mritsanjivani. Till date, if you go to Trambakesh where you find that herb which is shining, it's called Mritsanjivani. Even on Himalayas, there is a herb. I've seen it. If you go in the night, it glows in the night. It glows as if you, there is a small bulb over that hidden behind the herb. And there are many herbs, they glow. I've seen it. It's also there near Trambakeshwar in the Changal. So, this herb would shine. And it so happened that many herbs started glowing over there. So, Hanumanji couldn't understand, so he lifted the whole mountain and brought it. Now, I don't doubt the strength of Hanmanji. He must have lifted the whole mountain and got it. But there is also possibility that he took all the herbs and made a bundle and brought all the herbs. So it is said that he carried the whole mountain. Everything that was on the mountain, all the herbs he carried to uh, save Lakshman. And after Lakshman was saved, Rama was very happy. Shri Raghuvir Harashi would lie. Means Ram became overwhelmed, overjoyed with Lakshman being alive. There is a reason for it. We'll tell you the reason and then we will tell you the effects of Rama being over healthy, overwhelmed. So the effect is that, that when Rama came on this planet, he came with Lakshman. Lakshman and Rama, they Rama is the incarnation of Lord Vishnu and Lakshman is the incarnation of Sheshna. So they started their, you know, Leela, their, their play on this earth together and they had to end it together. They had to leave together. If Lakshman would have left his body, nothing would have been left for Rama to do on this planet. Even Rama had to go unfulfilled. His, his purpose of taking incarnation on this planet was to kill Ram, to kill Ravan. And if that would not have been fulfilled, he would have, you know, had to go unfulfilled. So, it was necessary for Lakshman to live, to Rama, for Rama to live. So, when Lakshman recovered. Ram was very overwhelmed. He was so happy. And what he did in the next line it is said, Shri Raghuvir Harashi would lie. Raghupati ki nahi bahut badai, tum mama priya parat samapai. So Raghupati, Rama, did big praise of Hanuman. He hugged Hanuman and he told Hanuman that Hanuman from today you are like Bharat, my brother to me. You are my brother from today. You are not my servant. You are my brother. From today onwards, I love you like I love my brother Bharat. Tu mama priya Bharat samapai. You are as dear to me as Bharat is as dear to me. And he hugged Hanuman. And Hanuman was so overwhelmed. Oh my God, Lord has praised me so much. Because in the dictionary of Ram, the most loving person on this planet for Ram is Bharat, no one else. The dialogue between Ram and uh, other family members, you will understand what I am saying. The relationship of Rama with Dashrat and his love for Dashrat is fantastic. There are no words for it. The relationship of Rama with his mother and all his stepmothers is amazing. There is no word for it. The relationship of Rama and Sita, it's amazing how all husband wives have to be like this. The relationship of Rama with his half-brother Lakshman is also amazing. There are no words for it. But with Bharat, 
something is different. Rama does not love his wife Sita, his shadow, Lakshman, his father, Dasharath, his mother, Kaushalya, the way he loves his brother, Bharat. I'll tell you an incident from Ramayan to justify this, to prove this. Dasharath gave a, a promise to Kaike. When he was on the war, Kaike was riding his chariot. And Kaike noticed that the wheel of the chariot was going to fall off because one of the screws was removed, was had been thrown off because of the battlefield being not uneven. So she put her little finger inside and she cut off her finger when Dasharat came to know about it. Dasharat was overwhelmed. He said, you did this for me. I'm going to give you three promises. So you can have these promises and you can utilize them whenever you want. So when Dasharat announced that Ram will be taking over my kingdom as a king and he will be crowned as a crown prince. At that time, Kaike went into the depression room and when Dasharat came to know about it, he went and he said, what's happening with you? It's the time to celebrate and why are you in the depression room? So Kaike said that I want the three promises that you have done me. He said, okay, take them. And this is not the time to show tantrums. So she said, first is my son. Bharat will be the king. Second is you will not crown Ram as the prince. You will crown Bharat as the prince. So he said, what is this? And third is, he said, she said that Ram will go to the jungle for 14 years with his, he won't be here for 14 years. He will go to the jungle. So Dashrat was upset. He did not say yes, but in that, in that depression, Dashrat died. But when Rama came to know that Dashrat has given a promise and he is not wanting to fulfill it, he said it is the method, it is the method of a clan that what we say we have to fulfill. Father, you don't worry, I will go to the jungle. And he left for the jungle. While he left, Bharat was not in the kingdom. Bharat had gone to his maternal grandfather, Kaike Raj, for a vacation. And there they sent a message that your father is not very well, you come fast. And Rama left. And by the time that Bharat came, Dashrat died. And when Dashrat died, none of his son was around him. We will talk about this someday. So Bharat, when he came to know that Rama has been left for the jungle, when Rama was leaving the whole army and the whole, you know, the people, of Ayodhya, they were following him. And when they reached to the boundaries of Ayodhya, Rama said, now you people go back. Now there is a jungle from here. This is our journey and we will complete it. I, me, my wife and my brother Lakshma, my half brother. And they left. Bharat took the army, took the people and they said, come, we'll bring back the king, the deserving king of Ayodhya. He went to get Rama. And as I've told you that Lakshman was the incarnation of Sheshna, the snake with thousand hoods. Lakshman could hear some sounds of horses coming towards them. He put his ear to the ground and he said, there are some huge army, some huge horses 
coming this way. He climbed on a very tall tree and he saw that Bharat is coming with the whole army towards Vairadeva. He said this Bharat is not going to leave his brother. His mother gave us 14 years of isolation and stay in the jungle. And he wants to come and kill us. He's coming with the whole army to attack us. If you order me from here upon, from on the tree, I will rain the arrows on them and kill the whole army with Bharat. Ram said, don't be stupid, calm down. By the time they were building a hut over there in the jungle to stay over there for a few days and then proceed from there. So Rama said, you come down and calm down. And we are tired of building this hut and we will rest for some time. So Rama and his wife Sita were resting inside that hut and Lakshman was giving a watch, keeping a watch outside the hut and Bharat came. Lakshman was ready that if he does something, I will reply to him. I will not allow anything to happen to Ram. Lakshman was waiting at the door. He said, I have not allowed him to go in. Bharat had tears in his eyes. He got down from his chariot. He removed his chapels. And Lakshman was ashamed. He thought that I had outed my brother my half-brother, when he has such emotions for Rama. He came to the door and he pleaded to Ram, Bharat pleaded to Ram that, I am so unlucky that because of me you have come over here, our father has died. I am so inauspicious, I am such a negative person. For me, you, your wife and my brother Lakshman are suffering, my father died. And we are all in this bad shape. The only bad shape. This, the only cause of all this is me, brother. But still, can you forgive me? Because you are the ocean of compassion. And can you give me your darshan, your vision? So that I can wash off my sins while just looking at you. See, not even real brothers, step brothers. Even real brothers, if they are staying together, they don't have this kind of words or respect for each other. And Ram comes running out. He says, what are you saying, Bharat? My whole body is breaking with pain. It's paining. And give me a hug so I can get rid of my pain. I know once if you hug me, I will be free from all this pain. And he hugs Bharat. In the same way, he is hugging Hanuman and telling Hanuman that you are as dear to me as my brother Bharat. Tum mama priya Bharat sama bhai. He praises Hanuman in this way. There is no mention of words, so loving words of love between Bharat and Ram. In this manner, there are no, compared to this words, there are no other words between Ram and Kaushalya, Ram and Dashrat, Ram and Lakshman, Ram and Sita. Such beautiful words they have mentioned where love of both the brothers is mentioned. So, this is beautiful. Let us share it with everyone. Hari Om Tat Sat.